Most of our manuscripts either bear the name of a saint or of a place, so like the Book of Kells being a place or the Book of Mulling referring to St Mulling. This one is interesting in that we know very little about its early history. The name that's been given to this is Codex Usserianus and that's a, a reference to Archbishop Usher who gave a large collection of manuscripts to the library. Now in fact there's no definite proof that this came from his collection. So it's a little bit of a mystery, but when we look at things like the handwriting and also uh, the illuminations in the book, there are little clues there as to where it may have come from. Now, in fact, there's very little illumination or illustration in this book. This is really uh, the main piece, and to all intents and purposes, it's a cross. There's a little bit more to it than that that gives us some hints as to uh, the age of the manuscript and where it may have come from because there's a little hook um, there coming off the top. In fact, what it is, uh, it's a monograph of Christ's name, and it comes from um, the amalgamation of two Greek letters, uh, um, chi and rho, essentially C and H, the first two letters of Christ's name. The chi looks like our X and the rho like a P. So the two have been amalgamated together to make a monogram of Christ's name. And that gives us a hint that this is an early manuscript, possibly not made in Ireland, possibly coming in with some of the earlier Christian missionaries to Ireland, but this little cross symbol we find on some of the very earliest carved rocks at monastic sites, places like Kerry also in, in County Antrim. However, we know this was in Ireland from a relatively early stage because of the scratched in glosses or notes that are written over um, some of the Latin text. One of the features of great interest to, to the scholars are the glosses in Manuscript 55 in Usheranus Primus. These are additional material to the actual text of the manuscript, usually written either in margins or in this case above the lines of text. They're not using a writing implement here, they're actually, if you like, scratching the text into the vellum itself, but it leaves enough trace element for it to be visible. In Manuscript 55, we have glosses in a very early Irish and also in Latin. The one we've got here is actually very early Irish, word for wages over the Latin wages of the text, so somebody's waiting to get paid. Obviously, it was a key word then, as it is now. So, because of the condition of the manuscript is now so much improved, it will allow scholars to examine these, you know, quite difficult to see areas of text in, in greater detail.